What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. This will be for Sunday, the 23rd of August, 2020. As always, the first link below will take you over to the Patreon post. That's where you can find all the madness, and this is going to be a packed report. I mean, we are seeing, once again this week, New World Order, full speed ahead. Let's just jump into the news. We got Europe battles second wave of coronavirus lockdown as China goes mask off. Indeed, did you see the pool party in China? I'll put a link to this. Check it out. All these people, with all this pandemic, now they're all gathered together because they're COVID-free, huh? CDC blindsided by Trump's statement it could deploy teams to schools in the fall. That from CNN. We got Gateway Pundit, Biden to ABC reporter. I would listen to scientists and shut the, in country down, shut the entire country down to stop the spread of COVID-19. Be advised, if these people get into office, well, let's just get on with the news. Russia registers COVID-19 vaccine after Putin says his daughter has been inoculated. I saw another story on one of the tabloids that said his daughter died, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, keys to immunity. We got. Uh, we now have the best evidence yet that everyone develops long-term coronavirus immunity after infection and is not about antibodies. Well, we have this thing called an immune system. You know, if we would have just let this thing go its course, as we always do, you know, all day, every day, we're in contact with all kinds of germs and there's always viruses going around. Our body has an amazing ability to fight these things off. Anyway, other news going on. Trump says he is considering a pardon for Edward Snowden. I think that would be a good thing. What's your thoughts? Hashtag wrong Trump trends on Twitter after the death of President's brother. Uh, boy, they went right after him on that one. and uh, His brother died, so that sucks. Trump says he'll seek a third term because they spied on me. Do you really believe that's how it works, Mr. President? Trump warns of rigged election as he uses conspiracy and fear. Uh, to counter Biden's convention week. Well, it wasn't a very good convention week. Did anybody watch any of the coverage? How embarrassing. I watched just a little bit of it. DNC viewership, disaster. Less than half tuned in to watch Democratic National Convention cared compared to 2016. And in Madam Maxwell news, we got, would you mind if I crack your neck? Bill Clinton leans back, smiles while receiving neck massage from Epstein victim 22 and never before seen photos. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Hillary, would you care to chime in? Over to financial news. We got how the U.S. major stock index has fared on Friday. Looks like on Friday the Dow rose 190 points before the week the Dow fell 0.69. Pretty flat week for the market. We got U.S. job U.S. weekly jobless claims jump back above 1 million. That from CNBC. We got parents going to debt to pay for kids breakfast and lunches after all schools are closed in the United States. Germany, however, beginning a universal basic income trial with people getting $1,400 a month for three years. I would love people's opinion on that. What if they did that in the United States? Good thing, bad thing. Let's let the government just take care of us. China's bank regulator warns dollar demise a seat of crisis. Indeed, dollar demise. In fact, national debt to surpass $78 trillion by 2028. You tell me there's not going to be a global reset along the way. Uh, we got Qantas profit nosedives 91% as COVID-19 delivers $4 billion. Think about that. A 91%. I mean, that is catastrophic. The financial catastrophe that's in progress is going to last for lifetimes. Pizza Hut franchise NPC International files bankruptcy. 300 restaurants, mostly dine-in locations to close that here locally. We got Pelosi calls back house over postal service upheaval. Yes, I'm just looking at the, the uh, headlines of this hour. Apparently they passed something to help the post office. I don't have a link on that, but it's out there. Several states considering legal action against Trump administration over USPS. We got Steve Bannon. Oh, we're, we're draining that swamp, but you know, the other way around. Steve Bannon charged with misusing donations for Trump's border wall. What up with that? NPR, anything you want to say, Mr. President? And at least 100 people arrested in New Jersey and widespread scam targeting ATMs. Free monies! We're over to New World Order and Police State News, and this is where I stop and ask you to share this video. And if you're not going to share this video, at least pull up some of these links and share these links. This is the most important stuff, people. This is the New World Order, hot and heavy. QAnon groups hit by Facebook crackdown. More censorship going on. I am not a follower, but I do not believe anyone's voice should be silenced. We got discussion of WikiLeaks and any hacked information banned under you new YouTube rules. That came out August 17th from SGT. Be advised, watch what you say. Delta bans Navy SEAL who killed bin Laden. I don't believe that story. After maskless selfie, however, I will stand up for his right to be able to take a maskless selfie. Fox Business puts that out. Anyway, multiple people arrested for not wearing masks in Orange County grocery store. Go California. Give them hell. New York State rule bans ticketed music events at bars. This is devastating. If you own a bar, you cannot have... Who? This is so... I'll just put a link to the story. Read into it. It's They're just telling you it has nothing to do with, with, with protecting anyone from anything. It's just bullcrap. Pasadena threatens church members with one year in jail after attending indoor worship service. Be advised. 
Uh, we got Virginia Health Commissioner says he'll mandate COVID-19 vaccine. Oh, really? Let's see you try it. 2,700 evangelical speaking of the church warn against politicizing coronavirus. Urge Christians to take the vaccine. Evangelicals, you know, Christians, isn't there something in the Bible about the mark of the beast and all that? Please put that in the comments for me. Flu vaccine now required for all students in Massachusetts. They are going to push the flu vaccine hot and heavy this year. Be advised. Uh, Scott Morrison announces free COVID-19 vaccines for Australians. Uh, backtracks on mandatory. I guess he must have got some major blowbacks. So now it's just going to be free, not mandatory. We'll see how it works out. World Health Organization warns coronavirus vaccine alone will not end pandemic. We cannot go back to the way things were. Indeed, if you're looking forward to returning to life the way it was, go check some of the videos in my favorites about how the, they're calling for the New World Order openly in the UN and a global reset and all that. We'll get to that in a minute. And do you think that all this wasn't pre-planned? I'm going to put a link. This is Elon Musk's girlfriend. Okay, this video... This is very important stuff. Please share this because this came out on September 5th, 2019. Before this thing blew up, okay, I think the first case in Wuhan was like in November or something. Check out this video. Look at the mask. Do you really believe these people didn't know it was coming? This is from September. Before all this blew up. Are you kidding me, man? They know. They knew exactly what was going to happen programming you right before it happened it's in your face you know how it works they do it in music they do it in movies they, they plant those little subconscious seeds in your head to make you more accepting of what's to come more accepting of the new world order anyway let's get back to the news world war three news chinese stealth fighters head west to confront india that from forbes we got from the war zone israeli force jets touch down in germany for historic air combat exercise Iran is in the news big time this week. Unveils new missiles as tensions between Washington and Tehran mount over arms embargo. Everybody else is turning against the U.S. Iran nuclear deal. European nations uh, siding with the Ayatollahs, says Pompeo, that 21 August. Iran sanctions nearly all U.N. Security Council unites against unpleasant U.S. Very interesting things going on. Uh, North Korea on the brink of war as Kim Jong-un's sister seizes power. I heard she sees power, you know, this, this rumors going on, who knows. Says our army is ready. Uh, on an unrelated note, Kim Jong-un orders North Koreans to hand over pet dogs so they can be used as meat. What's wrong with you? Uh, this is vengeance. We got this whole Putin critic that's been poisoned. I've talked to Putin on Skype. He said he had accident. No, not really. But Natural News says live guided air-to-air -air missiles discovered in Florida airport near Tampa uh, could have brought down Air Force One. What is up with that? And I got one more. Trump vows to bring all U.S. troops home from Iraq shortly. This reminds me of something that Marshall Masters said way back in 2012 when he was doing those, you know, I think it was in the five-part series about Planet X, about how troops will be brought home to protect America, you know, just before a catastrophe happens. So we'll see. And that puts me over to Earth Changes in 2012 news. Now, interesting uh, development here. My earthquakes and volcano discovery map that I usually use every week is down at the moment. I know there were a lot of six points and above quakes this week. Don't think anything generated tsunami. Didn't see too much on volcanoes. I'll put a link. Hopefully this website will be back up by the time I post this. Double trouble. Two tropical storms could soon be in the Gulf of Mexico. Yes, these are coming in. Be advised, my friends to the south. I'm sure you're already aware of that. Evacuation warning out in California as firefighters batter wildfires. California is on fire it's from the north to the south. 10 million Californians may go dark and biggest blackout yet. Apparently there's rolling blackouts because of the electricity demand due to the heat. It is hot! Record-shattering floods over in China threatens Three Gorge Dam. Got another link on that this week. We got 750 million genetically engineered mosquitoes approved for release in the Florida Keys. Who knows what those things are carrying? Be advised, my friends, in Florida. A solid wall of 15-foot flames all night long. Check this out. This happened in Grand Prairie at Poly America Factory. I don't know what started that fire, but holy crap, people. UFO fireball seen in Minnesota sky for three minutes. A lot of asteroid news this week, including the one. Did you see the one I sent out on Twitter? I can't stress enough to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Gab, because I will send out stories that I think are important through the week. NASA did not see asteroid less than 2,000 miles from the Earth. 1,800 miles away, they did not see this thing. It was the size of a small car. Probably would have burned up on impact. Uh, but... Be advised, asteroid bigger than a bus will shoot closer to the moon tomorrow. We got this from Express. This already went by. Is it any coincidence that we have all of this asteroid news all over the place going into the, I mean, people? I'm sure you're paying attention to this stuff, same as I am. Hungry says no one should organize holidays abroad for September. Now, they mention the date September 1st, which, oddly enough, is the day we're expecting the next big one to come close to the Earth. Uh, is this 
asteroid related or is it COVID? I don't know. And one more, was our was our sun a twin? If so, then Planet Nine could be many hidden planets in these. Be advised, Planet X in the news this week. I'm just saying, people, watch out for more and more asteroid stories. Don't be surprised if you see things hitting the Earth. I have a good feeling that, I mean, there's just a lot of, it's got to be a crazy coincidence, right? Anyway, over to strange and bizarre news. 21 people shot Wednesday in Chicago. Be advised, madness in the United States. Uh, Mayor Lightfoot uh, defends ban on protesters on her block. I have the right, I have the right to make sure I'm safe in my home. Oh, so other people in the city don't have that right. Is that right, Mayor? Only you have that right. I'll put a link to this from the Chicago Tribune. Pittsburgh mayor also has a problem with protests outside his house, that crossing the line. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Over in Portland, I'm sure everybody saw this. This happened back at the beginning of the week. The guy that got beaten, pulled out of his truck and beaten. Uh, I saw a story said he died. Another story said he was still alive. Sad story either way. A uh, man takes off his shirt. Oh, man. Can, can you allow me just one second to play this video? This guy tries to go up against the police. Not only does he get maced, he gets slimed. Watch, look at this stuff running off his body. Oh my God, he got slimed. That has got to be the ultimate suck. Texas gunman in custody after releasing hostages after he shot three police officers. I'm not sure their condition. I'll put a link to this. Uh, we got man knocked out in London train station apparently over a mask. He doesn't want to wear a mask. Knocking people out. Be advised, governor of Maine now demanding servers wear upside-down face shields uh, attached to collars. Dog cones. The governor of Maine wants servers to wear dog cones. This is outright lunacy. Tesla wrecking violently in parking lot after reported acceleration and brake failure. Be advised, this is the second homicidal Johnny Cab I've seen. Uh, DNC faked. Chemos Did you see this? The one more th sad thing that came out of the DNC. If you scroll down and look, they, they couldn't even get enough people for, for, the, for the camera shot. They get several doubles here. For all other news, please check my favorite videos, especially this week, because I have favorited all kinds of stuff. We got some video from the China flooding. The Truth of Girls. Yes, check out her video. I might do an individual video on this this week. Here we go. UN openly called for new world order and global reset. Watch her video. She's got the links. They are... Oh, all this crap we talked about years ago, it's openly out there now. Check her information out. Asteroid could hit Earth. Uh, I think that's in November. That's from Astronomy Live from GLP. He always does great work. Check him out. I got some good video of asteroids flying by. Uh, Frankie McDonald put out a storm warning for the southern coast. Shout out to Frankie. And, you know, the one story, the one, the one video, check this out. What the hell is that? That's in my favorites, people. Pull my favorites up. Check that out. That's something right out of a movie. That is not CGI. I'm telling you, people, holy crap. I don't know if I've ever seen one quite like that. Over to shout-outs this week. I got a couple shout-outs. Shout-out to this guy. How the major, how majority of Americans feel. You want to pull this up and check out this speech. It's only a two-minute video, but this guy is talking to, I think, a city council or something. Talking about how the government is oppressing the people and keeping businesses closed. He's talking about, you know, th and this is what the powers that be need to be concerned with. You know, this little Antifa bullshit that's going on, these, these little pussies that are running around, you know, tearing stuff up, that's small potatoes when you compare it to the actual American people. You're going to piss the, the American people off enough with all your bullshit tyranny, then you're really going to have a problem. Listen to this guy tell you about it. Shout out to him. And shout out to this doctor. Are you ready for Human 2.0? This is not a conspiracy theorist. This is a medical doctor talking to you about vaccines and interfacing humans with the microchip and all kinds of crap that's coming down the line. Check out her video. Major shout out to her, man. Everything she's talking about, 21 minutes. I'm shocked that that video is still on YouTube. Remember this title. If this video goes missing, just Google this title. You'll find the video elsewhere, I'm sure. That's all I got for this week, guys. It has been a crazy week. More craziness to come. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If Give it a thumbs down. If you think it's the worst of YouTube, you never want to see it again, please rate, though. It helps me move around. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, uh, BitChute. All my links are at the bottom. And if you want to throw me some support, you can support me on Patreon. Or you can follow me over there for free. Uh, I, I have I have it set up so none of my posts are paid posts. So any support is much appreciated. You can also directly support me on PayPal. I appreciate it because this channel is 100% demonetized. I literally spent two days preparing this report. Friday night and Saturday night so that you can have it on Sunday. I appreciate any support and thank you to the people that support me every week. You guys are awesome. You keep me going. That's all I got. Please tell me your thoughts on all the madness going on. You got asteroids. You got the New World Order openly. I mean it's people. The culmination of everything we've talked about for all these years. Terrifyingly in your face, you know. And I've been called a fear monger so much that 
maybe I'm just numb to it. I don't know. Anybody else feel numb to it? It's terrifying, but it's numbing at the same time. The truth of girls, if you watch her video, she goes over that. Those of us who have followed this for so long, it's really, it's surreal and, and it's terrifying and it's numbing all at the same time. But this is life, people. Thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes. You guys take care. Stay safe. Have a good week. Remain vigilant. I will see you on the next one.